Hello, my name is Teresa and I'd like to tell you a little bit about how Easter changed my life. I grew up in a family who didn't go to church, uh, but I, I went occasionally with um, brownies. We took the flags on parade there. And uh, as I got older with guides, I volunteered in our local Sunday school. But I felt increasingly uncomfortable with teaching children things that I didn't even really believe for myself. So I started on a journey as a teenager of about two years of asking endless questions to some wonderful people at my local church. During that time, my sister had become a Christian and I discovered that one of my best friends at school was also a Christian. Now, I thought I was a pretty good person and I'd sort of always believed that maybe some sort of God existed. I loved uh, going out hiking, going to places like the Lake District and just the beauty of the world and nature seemed to tell me that there must be something more. But I didn't really understand or know much more than that. So these lovely patient people at this church that I started to go to took a lot of time to explain to me what was in the Bible about how uh, God had made the world. Yes, and it was beautiful. But more than that, uh, that we as people had spoilt our relationship with God and that we needed Jesus and the love that he showed us at Easter to put things right. But I still wasn't convinced. I still wanted to have all my questions answered before I made a decision. After about two years, one of the people from the church said to me, you know, Teresa, you think you're OK because you think you're sat on the fence. But what you don't realise is that there is no fence. So you're either in or you're out. And it was as blunt as that. And it really threw me. But actually, it was just what I needed because I knew I didn't want to be out. I knew I wanted to be in. So walking back from church that morning, just along the, the streets on my own, I said to God, well, I don't have all the answers. So if I say, can I come in? Uh, will you give me the answers? Which he probably had a bit of a giggle about. Uh, but from that moment, I knew that something had changed. There were no bright lights, no flashes, no sudden revelations as to how God had actually made the world or any answers to any of the questions that I had. But I just had a real uh, peace and a sense of knowing that God had heard me say that I wanted to believe him and trust in him. And really from then on, it was a journey of understanding what Jesus had done for me. I thought I was really pretty good. In fact, I'd go as far as to say I thought I was pretty perfect, actually, which is a really awful thing to admit. But it was true, and I had to be completely humbled to come to accept to know that I was no good at all, really, and that the only way I could be good and have a relationship with God was through what Jesus did on the cross. So maybe you're a bit like me, maybe you think you're good enough, maybe you think that there is something out there and actually you don't need to bother making a decision about it, it's enough to just know that there's something and that you're living a good life and doing the best you can. But the Bible tells us that isn't enough, we do need to choose uh, to follow Jesus and I really pray this Easter that that's something that you choose to do for yourself too.